A few people asked me to do a video on the boat and at first I thought why would anyone want to watch a video on this boat, it's an old piece of junk, but a lot of people don't have a fortune to spend on a fishing boat. If you want to do it on the cheap, just like me, then check this out. So many boats over the years that I've worked out pretty quickly what sort of boat suits my fishing style and, and my needs and basically something small that I can launch from a riverbank I don't always have the luxury of a boat ramp in some of the places I go to and also need to be able to tow it over rough roads over I tow it all over Cape York um, it needs to run through shallow water because I fish shallow estuaries and stuff like that so what I've got here is a 3.95 meter bluefin and I picked it up for $5,000. It was, it was pretty ordinary. It had an old two-stroke Mercury on, which I, I've since changed for a uh, two-stroke Yamaha. I just prefer the Yamaha to the Mercs. Uh, it had an old Minn Kota electric motor on it, which worked okay, but I've changed it for an iPilot. Um, and the iPilot electric motor is just fantastic. Um, the sounder I use on it, I've put a Helix 9. I like the big 9-inch screen. The Helix is... I actually prefer the Helix over the the ones that you touch the screen. I just find that you you have too many troubles with them. So the old press button, I'm a bit old fashioned with, with that sort of stuff. But the Helix 9 suits me perfectly. Uh, the screen's big enough. It's got side imaging. It's got chirp. It's got really good sonar. Uh, it does everything I need it to do. And it's got a really good map in it as well. I've got the Navtron XC maps in it. So uh, it's a really good setup. Now when I got the boat and had to set up all the electronics one thing that drives me crazy is bugs in the electronics and I use the boat so often I'm in this boat about three or four times a week seriously I, I, I'm constantly out fishing or doing something so I gutted it and I did all the electronics and I made sure that I use really good wiring I used a bus bar across the back because I've got a single battery to run all the other electronics except for the electric motor and up the front I've got another battery just to run the electric motor so I get no interference through the sounder and stuff like that if I have a single battery for the electric motor if I run the electric motor with all the other electronics on the same battery then as soon as I hit the electric motor I get interference on the sounder the bus bar is really good keeps everything neat and it gives me a good earth down near the battery um, and for my positive terminals I've got switches just underneath the sounder. I actually had a mate weld all that up for me. Uh, he welded on a new cleat. He welded on a new bracket for the electric motor as well because the previous owner had an electric motor right up the center of the boat. Um, and that's just a little bit annoying. It just takes up too much of the boat. So if you're going to set up electric motor, set it off to the side so it's out of the way. It doesn't matter if it's off to the side of the boat. It doesn't have to be in the middle of the boat. Uh, it makes no difference at all. So it just keeps it all nice and neat. Um, Sam bought me the seats as a Christmas present, I think it was, so that was great. We changed the old seats to these new ones. Uh, and look, it's it's been a really, really good boat. Um, I can't really complain about it too much. I've had to have it all welded up because it did crack and I, I broke my ribs and stuff like that. Um, the ribs in the boat, not my ribs. But um, so that's for, just from me getting out in rough water that I shouldn't be out in. It's a flat bottom punt and you really shouldn't be out in rough water with a flat bottom punt. It's just gonna bounce along and it, it does get pretty rough. One thing I do like about the boat is that it's really light. The 30 horsepower engine gets it along really well and it's just the right size. You know, it's, I can fish with two or three people. Three is probably a little bit much, but two's no problem. But my daughter, my son and myself fishing it quite a lot and it's, it's no problem at all. Three people suits it, suits it really well. Another thing people ask about is the stickers on the side. They want to know if I 
I work for Albie or if I work for Wilson or if I'm sponsored by him or whatever. Um, Wilson I've just got a really good relationship with. Wilson have always looked after me when it comes to doing some charitable stuff that we used to do. Um, and you know they're just a really good company. You know they're a family company. Uh, a good mate of mine's the sales manager there so I've got a good contact there with Wilson. So no sponsorship or anything. I buy all my own lures and stuff like that. Um, I, I am an ambassador for Alvi though. I grew up fishing with Alvi sidecast reels. <laughs> my dad would use nothing but an Alvi so of course the whole family used nothing but an Alvi. And now that Alvi's into bait casters and spin gear which is what I use with all my sport fishing now uh, I'm really trying to help and promote that bait caster and spin gear stuff so I don't get paid for it or anything like that but um, I'm proud to be an Alvi ambassador I love I love the Alvis and excuse me a sec I don't know what I've got here but just having a quick jig with a plastic while I was chatting it's not very big it's uh we've got a little grunter so look the boat I think the electronics are worth more than what the boat's worth. So if you just wanted a cheap boat, like I said, this thing I picked it up second hand for five thousand uh, dollars. The electronics are probably with batteries and switches and everything in it. I've probably got six or seven thousand dollars worth of electronics, but you really don't have to have all those electronics. You know, I uh, I love it. Um, I get my money's worth out of them because I use them all the time. Uh, I do like. The Minn Kota and I do like the Hummingbird but uh, you know choose your own electronics you can go a lot cheaper than what I've gone you can go for a cheaper electric motor you can go for a cheaper sounder but you don't have to spend a fortune to be out there catching some good fish in a little sports fishing boat.